Everybody listens to music in different ways for different reasons, certainly on different formats. For myself, I've obviously chosen the vinyl record, and I wanted to break down the top 10 reasons why I choose to listen to and collect vinyl on this episode of Talking About Records. My name is G.I. Sanders from NTX Vinyl, a small chain of independent record shops in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you're not local but you are in the U.S., you can shop online at ntxvinyl.com. would appreciate if you subscribe here on YouTube or follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The top 10 reasons why I choose to listen to and collect vinyl records. This video and this idea actually came about um, in response to a number of comments that I've gotten, uh, mostly on previous YouTube videos, but also on social media. It seems like anytime I'd show a, a rare record or even any record for that matter, that you'd get a certain um, number of people who would respond kind of nonchalantly and just be like, yeah, that's great. Why don't you just buy the CD or yeah. You know, you can stream that music, you know, kind of as if I don't know that those options are available, right? And it just kind of makes me feel misunderstood as if there's like only one reason why someone would, uh, you know, inundate themselves with records on any level, whether it's a couple hundred or a couple thousand, right? And so I started to kind of think about all the different reasons that I actually do collect records. And that's where this list started. Number one on the list was when I feel that I had to get out of the way right off the bat, and that is sound. If you are a vinyl enthusiast or a vinyl collector, um, inherently there's some level of the sound quality that should play into your reasoning for collecting vinyl. Now that differs for everybody because everybody's ears are different. Everybody's turntable is different. The records you own are different than the records I own. Your speakers, your speaker location, your amplifier, all of these variables play into what a record sounds like. Now for me personally, I do enjoy the sound of vinyl versus other formats. For me, it's a little warmer. Um, it's a little more robust from a uh, dynamic perspective. There's just certain nuances when I put on a certain record. Now, again, not every record is created equal. I say that all the time. But as I generalize the format for me, I do um, gravitate towards the sound of vinyl a little more than other formats, right? Um, but again, that's different for everybody. And it really does depend on your circumstance, your setup, uh, in the way that you listen to records, right? Now, I will say, thinking back to when I first started collecting many years ago, um, I had not invested much into my turntable, my amplifier, etc. And at that time, sound was not very important to me. Um, I still enjoyed collecting and I still engaged with the hobby in a big way. And it, it um, you know, obviously am still to this day. Point being, you've got to have a starting point, you know, for people who are just starting out and, uh, you know, they've got kind of a, a budget turntable or maybe just a Bluetooth speaker that they're going to. If that works for them, that's great. But maybe sound isn't the biggest differ differentiator for that person. Um, and that's totally fine. You've got to have an entry point into a hobby and a stepping stone and a way um, to experience what it's like on some level, because that'll give you a taste for it. And hopefully at that point, you can make a decision whether or not it's for you or not. If that's, uh, you know, is that all dictated based on sound? Maybe not. Um, and I've got nine other reasons that'll, uh, that'll talk about that. Number two on the list, aesthetic. This is a big thing for me. I'm a very visual person and the vinyl format really, really caters to that. Um, I love the fact that the artwork is larger. I love the fact that in a lot of cases it opens up into a gatefold and it has inner sleeves or maybe inserts or posters. All these different visual elements that really complement the music. That's very important to me. I've never really had that same experience when I collected CDs or cassettes. Um, certainly um, a lot different than the uh, the postage stamp size album cover when you're streaming music on your phone, right? And so that visual aspect of the vinyl record, not only individually, but definitely when you have a larger collection, what that looks like, it, it really does play into the, the reasoning behind why I collect and why I choose vinyl. I'm a very visual person, like I mentioned, and it's not only the music, it's also that visual component. So those two things um, are a big reason why um, I collect and I put those one and two for that very specific reason because, um, you know, pairing the, the sound quality with the visual aspect at a high level, those are, those are two big reasons why I choose vinyl as my format of choice. Number three on the list, the commitment. This is a really important one. 
Um, and honestly, I think it's kind of hard for people to understand unless they have experienced um, collecting vinyl, listening to vinyl, but I'll try and put it into some perspective. So if I'm working around the house, I'm busy, I'm doing things, like I'm probably not gonna put on a record, right? Because that record commands some level of attention. One, I've gotta walk over and actually put it on the turntable. When that side is done, I gotta flip it over. I gotta listen to the other side. Maybe it's a two LP set, then I gotta change the record out. Those are all, in some ways, inconveniences, right? But I see that as a positive because what I do is I wait till I'm done with whatever I've got going on in my life around the house. And I say, hey, when I'm done, then I'm gonna actually commit some time and listen to that record. Maybe it's a new record I got, or maybe it's something I've had in my collection I haven't heard in years. It doesn't really matter. It's the fact that I'm making a commitment that I'm gonna sit down for the next 30, 45 minutes or an hour or whatever it be, and I'm gonna actually experience that album the way the artist intended, in full, uninterrupted, um, and actually pay attention to it. So I like the fact that a vinyl record actually makes you commit to it. Um, you know, I don't have an automatic turntable, so for me, I can't put it on and just walk out of the room and let it stop, right? So I've actually gotta make a conscious effort to carve out time and sit there and consume the music. And that's really important to me because it helps me focus on actually listening to the music and experiencing it in full. I stream music all the time when I am busy, when I am doing other things, and it just becomes background noise, which is perfectly fine. It serves that purpose. But for me, when I actually wanna to listen to an album in full, I'll choose the record all day long. Number four on the list, the vibe. This is a big one, um, you know, the, the easiest way I can explain this is when someone walks into this room right here, which is my listening room in my house, and they've never, never been here before, and I see the look on their face, and I see their eyes go real wide, and they're like, wow, what is this? And I say, this is my music collection. It creates this vibe like no other. You know, they walk into my home downstairs. I've got Sonos speakers everywhere, and music is probably going. They don't think... They don't think you know twice about it, but then they come upstairs and they walk into this room and that vibe and that experience that a record collection, um, a listening room, no matter how big or small creates, I think is very important. It's also very inspiring. Like when I walk in here and you know I, I need to do some work or I'm, I'm working on something maybe on my computer, my phone or whatever, I can choose to put a record on and it just transforms this room in a lot of way and it, and it transforms my mindset in a lot of ways. And I think that can't really be overstated enough that, um, and I think that can be accomplished with CDs or with cassettes if that's what you're into. But for me, it's one of the big reasons I collect is because um, like why I collect vinyl specifically is it creates a certain environment and a vibe um, in the room specifically while I'm listening to it that I don't think can be replicated, certainly not from streaming um, and maybe from other physical formats. But for me, I think the size, like I mentioned, the aesthetic of the records and the visualization of the records, not only on the shelf, but on the turntable, creates a, a really unique experience, something that has always been very important for me in my collecting. Number five on the list is responsibility. Inherently, if I'm gonna spend my money on something, if I'm gonna spend my time sourcing it, finding it, spend the effort to actually purchase it, there's a responsibility that comes along with all those things. And I like the fact that those are all tied to a vinyl record. You know, it doesn't matter if it costs $10 or $100, whatever it may be, you're, you're investing in that, and not only monetarily, but your time and your effort, like I mentioned. And I like the fact that those kind of guardrails are set up um, because it's gonna push me into an environment where I'm actually gonna want to then listen to it and experience it because I've invested in it, right? There's a responsibility that comes along with the record um, that isn't there, at least not for me, when it comes to streaming music or when it comes to any of the other physical formats which have never appealed to me as much as the record, as the vinyl LP. And so again, that responsibility of not only making the choice to um, acquire that record, but then to store that record, to care for that record, to play it, uh, to clean it over time. Those are all things that definitely play into my decision of you know choosing to experience music on the vinyl format versus lots of others. Number six on the list is a huge one, and that is the culture. 
of collecting vinyl records and the community. I think uh, the two are very, very tightly connected. Um, I've been uh, an avid collector for, um, I'd say the last 10 years, but I've been collecting for 25 years, just very passively in those, the, the first half of that, mainly just because I didn't have the money to actually spend on records because they do cost a lot. Um, but in the last 10 years, and especially in the last five, as I've really engaged in the vinyl community, not only locally um, by starting NTX Vinyl, but also online where a lot of community is built these days, I can't, um, I can't preface the importance of that. Like if you're into a hobby, it doesn't matter if that's, you know, classic cars, or uh, maybe it's a book club, or collecting sports cards, whatever it may be. Inherently, if you're going to um, uh, surround yourself with other like-minded people who will who share an appreciation for that um, for that hobby or that uh, uh, collectible that you're engaged with, like it's going to do um, it's going to do wonders for for yourself in regards to. Um, staying engaged with it and fueling that passion for it, right? And there's a great community around vinyl records. There really is. It's it's small and it's niche, but that could be said for for a lot of other hobbies, and right. But if you find the right place, if you find the right group of people, um, again in the physical world or online, um, and and you insert yourself into that. Man, it does a lot for uh, for keeping you energized for it and keeping you engaged with it. So, because I think that's that's one of the things about this hobby, about a lot of things, is people can come in and drop off really quickly if if they're kind of passive about it, right? So, get engaged in the community. It's, it's done wonders for me. I've met so many amazing people, um, and it's really fueled my passion to continue collecting year after year. Number seven on the list, probably my favorite one out of all of them. That is the memories. I can go through my entire collection of a couple thousand records and not every record, but there's a large percentage of those where I can pull them out and I can tell you exactly where I got it, exactly um, who gave it to me, exactly where I was, which record store, which collection I got it from. There are memories tied to every single one of these albums. Some of them I remember better than others, of course, depending on how long it's been. Um, but those are really important, right? I just don't have that same attachment when I scroll through my, uh, my library on my phone to pick out an album. Or if I, if I go back years to when I was collecting CDs as the primary format in the 90s, like, I mean, I can tell you a handful of CDs where I got them based on, um, you know, that being a very important album to me, but it's far and few between. When I look through my collection, man, I can tell you a lot about each one of these records, where they came from, or, you know, like I mentioned, maybe I got them as gifts, uh, things like that. There's just a lot of memories tied to them. And I think a lot of that points back to the, the aesthetic that I mentioned, the fact that it is so visually appealing. Um, there is a kind of a muscle memory for me, at least when I hear the music, I connect it to the album art and I immediately connect it to where I was, you know, I can pick out an album and I can instantly transport myself that I was at uh, Bleecker Records in New York, and that's where I bought this specific pressing of this copy of Led Zeppelin II, you know, or whatever it was. Or I can tell you when I pull out an album if, you know, I got it for Christmas from my mother one year. True story. Like, those are things that uh, really, again, fuel my passion for this and fuel my collecting. And they just wouldn't be there for me if I didn't have the vinyl LP as the format where I consume most of my music. Number eight is the ownership. We live in a world that is increasingly becoming overwhelmed with subscription services. I love the fact that when I make a choice to buy a record, it's my choice, and I can put it on my shelf, and it's up to me what I want to do with it till the end of time. I can listen to that record, I can own that record, I can give it away, I can sell it, I can throw it in the trash. Those are all my choices. I'm not at the liberty of a big corporation who wants to shut down a platform or change the price of a platform or an artist who wants to pull their music off of a platform. This is happening a lot more these days. And I don't like the fact that music that I really love and that um, has memories tied to it and can trans transport me back to a time and place of when I first experienced it or when I purchased it. Like I want all that tied up into something that I control. Right. So the ownership is just very important. Um, you know, I think there, there's inherently tons of benefits with renting your music or renting your content in general. Um, but to me, 
something as important as music, um, which is critical to uh, to my life and my survival mentally, of course. Um, you know, it's something that I want to know where it's at at all times. And I want to know that if I want to listen to an album, it's in my home, it's on my shelf, I can choose it at any time and I can experience it. The number nine reason why I choose to collect vinyl is the collectability. Um, you know, and this, I don't say this in regards to necessarily collecting for value. I'll touch on that here in a moment, but to me, it's just more about the completest aspect and the fun of collecting. Like I love being able to, um, go through an artist and see that I'm missing elements of their discography. And it'll actually help me discover uh, music that I didn't, didn't, didn't know about before. Cause I only knew maybe the, the main albums, right. Or the, the most popular albums. But when I see that, Oh, I've only got one or two more and I've got all of the albums by this particular artist, it'll actually expose me to music. I, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't aware of before. I just never taken a chance on. So I like that collectability aspect. I'm not a big collector when it comes to tons of different variants of the same album. I do have multiple copies of some albums that are very meaningful to me, but it, as a general rule, I don't keep more than one, maybe two copies of a specific album. And I really try and just keep one, kind of try and get one really good pressing or one album that's in really good condition. But even that is just, man, it's just the fun of collecting, the fun of acquiring and building out a collection that all plays into why I've chosen vinyl. Like I never, uh, again, I never really felt that with other physical formats. Certainly don't feel it with streaming. Um, when I go and add something to my library, I don't, on, on my, you know, my Apple music account. I don't feel as if I'm collecting music. It just doesn't have the same feeling or the same vibe at all. And so collectability when it comes to, again, a physical thing that you're putting on a shelf, you're making space for, you're organizing a room around it. There are all these things that play into the fact that vinyl becomes very collectible. Um, and, you know, just for me personally, not even from a value perspective, but just from a, um, you know, from a motivational aspect of, again, staying engaged with a hobby, and, and really in, enjoying the experience of, of collecting records. Last but not least on the list, number 10 is the investment. Um, I really didn't intend to put this one last. I was trying to fill out the list, but I got to tell you, I'm kind of glad it ended up last because mentally this is probably the last one I would think about on this list. I can't say I ever really have gone and bought a record for my personal collection and looked at it and bought it because I think this is a great investment. It's going to go up in value, right? Like I don't really think about things in that way. Um, you know, on the business side of things, it's a little different, but again, when I'm talking about my personal collection of why I collect and why I listen to records, um, that's more of a subconscious thing. Um, if I'm going to spend uh, good money on a record and I feel like, man, I don't know, it's a little overpriced or I don't know if I want to spend all that much right now. Uh, the investment, the investment angle is something I can use to convince myself to uh, to take that plunge, you know, because I can tell myself oh, I can always get that money back if I need to. I can always sell it. And in some some cases and in most cases, you can even make money on it on that investment. Right. But the reality is for me, um, once I buy something and it goes in my personal collection, like I'm not really ever intending to sell it. Um, I'm, I'm hoping my collection, you know, goes to the grave with me and goes to my children and my family and maybe their children. I don't know if that'll happen. That's a pipe dream maybe, but, but it is, it is something I keep in mind. I, like I said, I don't buy vinyl records, um, for the purpose of investment. I buy them to enjoy the music, um, to add to my collection, to fill out a discography, all those different reasons that I've kind of always mentioned. But the fact that remains, it is an investment because there is a value to it. And I don't foresee, uh, I don't foresee that investment tanking. I don't think there's going to be a time and place in my lifetime where music has no value and there are no people left to see value in a physical format, like a vinyl record. Uh, we're seeing it every day, uh, with new collectors in, entering the market, um, that are really um, really appreciating the fact that there's a physical component to music. So I think that's going to continue to snowball. Um, and I do think long-term vinyl is a good investment if you know how to do it and if you know what to buy. Um, but inherently you should, should buy what you love based on what you want to listen to, because that's what's going to provide the most enjoyment. And that's what'll sustain you if you want to stick with this hobby long-term, uh, as opposed to just getting into it quick to try and get out from an investment standpoint. So not something I think of, but again, kind of subconsciously it's it's always there. So those are my 10 reasons, the sound, aesthetic, commitment, vibe, responsibility, 
the culture, memories, ownership, collectability, and the investment. Certainly, I have missed some reasons why you collect. I would love to hear in the comments, so let me know. And as always, I really appreciate all of the feedback and engagement on the channel. I'll pop up some other videos now. Um, stick around for future episodes of Talking About Records. Really appreciate you watching.